Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about hyperemia and congestion. Hyperemia and congestion are two separate conditions, but they both occur due to increased blood volume within the tissues. Though they occur for the same reason, that is increased blood volume within the tissue, they have different underlying mechanism and consequences. Hyperemia is an active process. In hyperemia, arteries get dilated, for example, in skeletal muscle during exercise or at the site of inflammation. When the artery is dilated, there is increase in the blood flow to the tissues. When the blood flow to the tissue is increased, the tissue turns red, that is erythema is produced. The redness is because of increased supply of oxygenated blood to the tissues. See in this picture, we know what is a capillary. A capillary is a small blood vessel that convey blood from the arterioles to the venules. So, capillary has an arterial end and a venous end. Usually, we depict artery using red color and veins using blue color. In this picture, we can see that in hyperemic condition, the capillary is more of red color due to increased oxygenated blood supply due to dilation of the arterioles in hyperemic condition. Here, the supply of oxygenated blood is increased. Therefore, hyperemia is an active process. Now, let's see about congestion. Congestion is a passive process. We have seen hyperemia is an active process. Congestion is a passive process. Congestion occur due to reduced outflow of blood from the tissue into the vein. The blood that outflow from the tissue into the vein is deoxygenated blood. So when the outflow of deoxygenated blood into the vein is reduced, then the tissue turns blue-red color. That is cyanosis. It causes cyanosis. As the deoxygenated blood gets accumulated in the tissues, congestion is a passive process. In this picture, we can see that the capillary is more of blue color due to accumulation of deoxygenated blood. In hyperemia, we have seen that the capillary is more of red color due to accumulation of oxygenated blood. Hope you understand the difference between the hyperemia and congestion. In congested tissue, that is the tissue which undergo congestion is congested tissue. When the congested tissue capillary ruptures, there occurs catabolism of red blood cell leading to increase in cluster of hemosiderin laden macrophage. As a result, there is increase in the hydrostatic pressure which causes edema. We have already learned about edema in previous videos. The link of the edema video is given in the description box. Like, share and comment my video. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.